we're here live at Plano, Texas, at Retro Expo Day 2 of the event. We're here with the Kenny James, the man, the myth, the legend, Bowser himself, and a whole bunch of other goodies. Mr. Kenny, how's your day going? Uh, it's, it's good. It's been going good. It's a big packed day today here at Retro Expo in beautiful Plano. You've done a lot of stuff in Nintendo, but also anime. Can people tell you like what, yeah. you, what you do, what you what you do in the anime as well? All? Yeah, I uh, actually moved to this area because of Funimation. Which is in Austin, right? Uh, Somewhere it's, here in it's Flower Mound. Flower Mound, yeah. yeah. So I, um, I was living in Washington State uh, for 38 years. Uh, I grew up in Texas. We're at Washington State, upstate or north state? Or um, just Land? across Puget Sound oh, yeah. from uh, Seattle. Ah, I so, used to live near upstate, Kitsap County. Near, uh, Spokane, near Cordland. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the other side <laughs> of the state. Yeah. I, uh, I moved here two years ago to start working for, at Funimation, and uh, they took me in. So. I'm doing anime constantly, uh, One Piece, uh, Cautious Hero, uh, Fire Force. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I make a joke about it sometimes about uh, at panels when I'm, I'm like, I'm doing anime now. Right. And they're like, oh, whoa, really? And I'm like, yeah, you guys probably know my, my best known character. And they go, they perk up and I go, it's uh, additional voices. Digital, that's great. <laughs> now, your work on Nintendo and the yeah. East franchise, of course, about being so widely bought with the Mario franchise. Yeah. How was that? How many different versions of the character have you done of Bowser and all that? A lot. Well, I mean, there's regular Bowser, regular there's Bowser. dry Bowser, Bowser, there's there's Meowser, the cat power. Cat bird. Um, I don't know. To me, they all sound relatively the same, but... Uh, with like dry Bowser though, <laughs> the uh, the direction would be do what you usually do, but drier. A little drier. Right? <laughs> so you know. So, so you get that, but yeah, I've been doing this. I've been this cat for 18 years now. It's a great cat. He's awesome. A the cat one too, and the regular. Oh yeah, well you know, he is a he is a cat sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. So Mario Brothers, it, it, it originally was you know the old little eight big pixels and all yeah, that. It's yeah. evolved in this whole this whole universe and all this jazz. What do you see for the future of Nintendo? Is there anything that you would like to see them? I know they have where Mario gets big and bashes the bricks like the size of Texas, but what would you like to see for the future of Mario? It's again so detailed these games and all this stuff with monologue and voiceovers. Yeah, and I kind of um, I kind of agree with a lot of the fans where they're like, when are we going to get a, a, a Bowser based? Game going head to head with Wario, right? So, or whoever, <laughs> whoever. Right. So you know, but I mean, the closest thing they've done to that so far was probably Bowser's Inside Story, which was very popular. But uh, yeah, I'd like to see a more Bowser-driven, you know, game where he's more of the main character for a change. Also, awesome, you, know? you know, instead of getting squashed. <laughs> but you know, as much as as much as he gets beat, do you think about it? How many times does he beat you before you figure it out and beat him? Go to the castle, your prince is sitting in this castle. So, you know, toast. I'm like 20 and 1. Yeah, right. You know? So this anime, how, how is, it, is it? Is it different in any way than doing oh, anime? completely different. Um, because the cartoon is already animated, it's already been voiced. We have to take it, translate it, mm. westernize From it. From the Japanese or whatever, too. Yeah, right? the, we, we'll get a translation, and direct translation never works out. Really well. um, so we have adaptive script writers. Mm. The adaptive script writers will westernize it, mm. and you still have to make it fit in the space oh, the because the animation's the already done. The cartoon actors yeah. Are, it's so it's all ADR. It's automated uh, ADR, dialogue replacement. The original, I mentioned AD. There's a company called ADV, which I believe was one of the first dubbers that bought in for the American Eyes. Have you ever yeah. heard of that or are you familiar with any of that? It sounds familiar. Um, ADR is the audio, uh, what's the same for again? Audio. Well, ADR is automated dialogue Automated replacement. dialogue replacement. Yeah, so yeah. it replaces the Japanese to the American. Yeah, so you get beeps that lead you in. Really? So you have a... With marker points. You have a monitor with a script on it, mm -hmm. and you have a monitor with the animation on it. Mm -hmm. And they'll show you the Japanese line, and being a, a musician in the past oh, really? helps a lot. Well, excuse me, what kind of music did you do? What did you do? Oh, I was in all kinds of bands, and I've done music Bass player, theater. drums? Or? Nah, I was a singer. Oh, well. Uh, I had longer hair than this. You're like the Bono. My hair used to be down to hell. Wow. 
You're like the Bono of the video uh, game. Anime yeah, world, yeah. Because she's the vocalist of the end. So yeah. So I mean, it, yeah. it helps because of the timing. Right. So then you get beep, 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 and on the fourth imaginary beep, you start talking. And so if you have it in your mind, how long that right. space is, you can fill it. And you're, you're reading the script, and hopefully your flaps match. So or at least as best possible. But it's fun. It's a hoot. It sounds like it is the Forrest Gump of recording because it's like a box of chocolates. Never you know, know what you're you gonna get. Never know what you're gonna get. So. All these video games and stuff like this. You, you have any upcoming projects? You said you mentioned something you're gonna be working on, some game, anime, or something. Um, no, I'm constant. I mean, I have a oh, okay. I have a session at Funimation for Monday, so I'm in there every week, pretty much. For people that are getting into this or want to get into the video game voice actor or anime, what, what's something you could tell them that you that you've learned over the years that might help them perfect their craft or keep on track or something? One like of that? the one of the things I like to profess is if you want to be a voice actor, first be an actor. Hmm. And so for me, community theater is huge. It doesn't cost you anything. You're not going to get paid. Right. But it really doesn't cost you much as long as the theater's not very far away. You will learn to take direction. You'll learn to develop characters. you learn acting. I did 10 years, 10 or 11 years of community theater, and I think I did 20-something shows in that time. Wow. Yeah, musicals, straight stuff. Uh, I was in an opera once. Nice. What, what, uh, was what was that? It was La Boheme. Oh, wow. But I was only, I was Parpignol, the toy seller. It's all good. So That's a really well-known opera. Very short, very short wow. bit, you know, but I got to sing first tenor, and it was fun. It's awesome. But, uh, yeah, I've done all sorts of musicals, and I was... Um, R.P. McMurphy and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Oh, that was a mouthful. That was awesome. So, <laughs> that a lot was of scripts fun. to memorize on that one, right? Oh, it was, yeah, I mean, he's on stage nearly the entire oh, time. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was tough, but I loved it. So, for all this stuff, is there a website or Twitter? Is there any like, digital grid goodness that they can go to in the awesomeness? I, um... Or your personal website? I mostly, I mostly pay attention to Instagram. Okay. Um, I don't post as much as I should. So, you got to keep up. But, I trick a lot of it kind of... <laughs> yeah, but it, it's at Kenny James Bowser. Okay. And uh, it's just Kenny James on Facebook and on Twitter. They didn't have enough characters. Oh, they always have so someone takes it, right? it's Kenny James B-O-W-S-R. I had to drop the E. Yeah, it's, it's still Bowser, but without the E. She's oh. laughing. It's all good. Well, Mr. Kenny, it's a pleasure <laughs> talking to you, brother. Appreciate you, man. We're here at Retro Expo. Check out the event if you're in the area. It's almost oh, science fiction coming to you from Plano, Texas. Signing off.